Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be showing how you can make an ice cream cold plate with a frying pan. Using a cold plate to make ice cream is quick and easy, and custom flavors are as simple as dropping in the fruit or candy of your choice. Step 1 is to place a dry towel below a large baking pan. This will insulate the bottom of the cold plate and allow it to stay cold for longer. Next, a block of dry ice is placed in the pan. Dry ice can be purchased at most grocery stores, just remember to bring a cooler so you have a place to keep it on the drive home. The dry ice is covered with a second towel, which will keep it centered in the pan, and also insulate it from the sides. A dry towel is a great insulator, but a wet towel, not so much. To allow better thermal conductivity above the block, I wet that portion of the towel with some inexpensive vodka. Rubbing alcohol works just as well, but since it's inedible, you would have to be careful not to get it in the ice cream. Everything is now prepared, so we can set a frying pan on top of the dry ice to finish the cold plate. It will take a few minutes to reach a cold enough temperature, so it's a good time to make the ice cream mix. If you do a search for ice cream recipes online, you'll find thousands of them, and any one should work. Perhaps the most simple is just a 50-50 mixture of heavy cream and sweetened condensed milk. This is a good option because it doesn't have much flavor by itself, and so it goes well with any custom ingredients you might want to add. By now the cold plate should be ready, so I can pour on some of my ice cream mix, and I'll add a few strawberries for flavor. Using a pair of spatulas, I can chop them right on the plate. If the ice cream mix was already chilled in the refrigerator, it should begin hardening very quickly. It may take a few extra minutes if it was poured on at room temperature. When the ice cream reaches the desired consistency, it's ready to serve. With this setup, one block of dry ice should last for several hours, so there's plenty of time to experiment with lots of different flavors. The ice cream stores well in a freezer once it's made, so you may as well make a lot of it. I hope you enjoyed this project, and if you did, you can find many more of my projects on my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Thank you for watching.